Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you for joining us today to learn more about the OSHA Lifelong Learning Institute at the University of Miami, commonly known as ALI. My name is Dr. Magda Vergara, and I am the director of the program. During this hour, I will provide you with a general overview of our program. You will meet some of our wonderful instructors and two of our active members. We will also be very happy to address your questions at the end of the session. Please make sure to use your chat feature as some of you are doing to submit your questions. If interested, an OLLI member can call you this afternoon and personally answer any additional questions that you may have. So make sure to add your phone number. And finally, I will provide you with details on how you can become an OLLI member today and join the OLLI family. And now about our program. OLLI at UM is one of 124 OLLIs throughout the United States all associated with major universities. It is a non-degree, non-certificate granting program, so there are no grades. We offer over 350 classes a year, most without any tests or homework. All are stress-free. So you can take as many classes as you like and fully enjoy them. Ali offers you the opportunity to learn for learning's sake in a relaxed and comfortable atmosphere. Our program is member driven and we encourage our members to participate and engage in all aspects of our program. Some of these volunteer opportunities include the curriculum committee and the social committee, which are very important in the quality of our program. Membership is open to like-minded individuals who are 50 years old and better. At the current moment, we have over 1,400 active members. And as I said before, today is your opportunity to join the OLLI family. Typically, we hold our classes in Malfondrus Hall on the University of Miami Coral Gables campus. However, due to the COVID pandemic, and to ensure the safety of all of our members, our fall courses will be offered remotely via Zoom. The courses meet once a week for six weeks, and each class meets for an hour and 45 minutes. With the exception of yoga and Tai Chi, these courses meet twice a week for one hour each time. We offer classes all year long, and these are divided into sessions. We have two sessions in the fall, two sessions in the spring, and two in the summer. We also produce three catalogs a year, one in the fall, in the spring, and another in the summer. You can find all our catalogs online on our website. For this coming fall, we are offering over 145 classes and six free shared interest groups of clubs. Remember, classes begin on Monday, August 31. We are offering a variety of courses from Western art to acrylic, history to science and literature. There is something for everyone. We also offer six week shared interest groups. These meet weekly for 50 minutes and include Yiddish, Monday morning quarterback, and the Ali Book Club. Again, there are plenty of clubs to choose from. All of our instructors are highly skilled and trained professionals with advanced degrees. Everyone has extensive teaching experience teaching the adult learner. This drives the variety and excellent quality of our program. As a member, you will receive many benefits and I'll just highlight a few. You will have access to our lecture series between great UM faculty members, community members and OLLI members, all who come to OLLI to speak and address our members. You also receive free general admission to the Low Art Gallery and invitations to their events. And lastly, you have borrowing privileges at the Victor Library and invitations to their exhibits as well. Now, I'd like to introduce you to our panelists. Panelists, please turn on your video.
Can the panelists please turn on their videos? Thank you. Okay, so with us today, we have three wonderful ALI instructors who will speak about their respective areas of instruction and about their classes. Here we have with us Ms. Jeannie DeKing, who teaches writing and literature. We also have Ms. Joan Nurse, who's our technology instructor, and Dr. Daniel DiCaglione, who teaches philosophy and literature. We also have two distinguished ALI members, Dr. James Gross and Ms. Elizabeth Newman, who, in addition to taking classes, serve on various committees and will speak about their experience at ALI. Jeannie, would you like to begin? My name is Jeannie DeKeen, and I teach writing here at ALI. As Magda mentioned, we have an extensive literature and writing program. We have a Shakespeare reading group. We have several literature classes and discussion groups that span early female British writers to 20th century authors such as James Baldwin. In our lit program, I teach a class called The Uplifting Passionate Short Story. And there we will read authors such as Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Flannery O'Connor, and William Soroyan. We seek to understand what makes a good story work and what does it touch in its readers? And why is it that some people believe that the short story is the highest form of fiction? That class is on Thursdays at 3 p.m., uh, both sessions of the fall term. So are writers born or are they created? Well, I hate to tell you this, but we don't have the answer to that age all question. But the emphasis is here for you to leave the class a better writer than you were when you arrived. In our writing program, I teach another class, a writer's workshop. And we are a small, friendly group that critiques each other's writing in a very relaxed, comfortable setting. Some members have been in this revolving group for years, and other members have just joined. In this group, students read once or twice during the class. And I also give writing prompts that we often share if there's time after class. That is on Tuesday mornings at 10 a.m. <coughs> Our second writing class is simply called Creative Writing. And that includes fiction, essay, and memoir. And we discuss the nuts and bolts of creative writing character, plot, story art, setting. Some students in the class have worked on long memoirs or short life stories in addition to fiction. And there is some time to create, to critique each other's folks on pieces, but our focus is the basics, along with writing prompts. Uh, these classes are generally for beginning and intermediate students. If you've written a bestseller and just have to find an agent, you might not find uh, our, our classes uh, up to your speed. But then again, we do have people who have published uh, who are students in the class. And that is on Thursday mornings at 10 a.m. In terms of my own background, I have been a journalist for Time and Newsweek magazines covering Miami and Latin America. In recent years, I taught writing at the university level at UM. I hold a master's degree from the Columbia School of Journalism and a second master's from FIU in creative nonfiction. I'm also a memoir writing consultant. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a frog in my throat. But the basic focus of all these classes is respect for the written word. Uh, one of the differences in our classes from other OLLI classes is our classes top off at 14 students. So there's ample time for you to get to know each other and have a good time as well, we hope. So whether you are a writer or a reader or both, we invite you to try one of our classes. And if you have questions, uh, please ask them at the end of our presentation. Thank you, Magda.
Thank you very much, Jeannie. And now we have Ms. Joan Nurse, who will speak about technology. Can you hear me? Okay, very good. Okay, thank you again for the opportunity today. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about myself. I'm a technology instructor. I've been teaching um, technology for about 20 years. I have two masters, one in business and one in technology, as well as a certification from the University of Miami, A plus certification that um, I work with software and hardware with taking the computer apart and putting it back together. Within my um, 20 years, I have traveled domestically and internationally teaching in the, as far as the Philippines and back to the United States. Right now at Ali, I am teaching the technology uh, desktop. And with the technology desktop, I start with the basic computers. Basic computers meaning starting from the very beginning, how the computer works, how it's connected, as well as basic Excel. And when I say basic, I mean start from the very beginning. How does the program work? How do you um, put in each type of formula? And I take you through it in a slow process. I have a lot of patience. I've been doing this for over 20 years plus, and I understand that people learn at different levels. The next section that I teach will be the Windows and the Windows operating system. And when I say the operating system, how does Windows work? And what is the advantages of working with Microsoft? Some people don't understand the difference between um, an operating system and a program. So I work with you to understand all of the, the ins and outs of your computer and what you can do with them and the nuances that has come out in which you can either do a screenshot with your computer with a Windows 10 or save documents in a file folder. Also, I'm now doing the Apple process. And when I say the Apple process, I mean all of Apple, the Apple operating system. Whether you're working with a MacBook Air, a MacBook Pro, iMac, anything that pertains to Apple, I can help you with. I am savvy, don't ask me, my brain works that way. Um, when I wake up, I think about computers. When I go to bed, I think about computers. So that's my life. Just thinking about computers, it makes me feel happy. Um, also, along with that, for this fall one and two, I'll be teaching the Android system. And when I, when I mean about the Android, the smartphones and how to connect your devices. It's very important right now that we understand the process of using computers and how they function, how they complete work, and how you can connect all of the devices together. So that's another part of my specialty. Along with that, I have the Google Apps, and I teach you everything about Google. If you ever wanted to know about Google, you can stop by you can send me an email, you can text me, you can do anything of that sort in which to understand the process that we work with. When I say Google, I mean your Gmail, I mean your cloud service, and I know when I say cloud, people get very upset. But remember, um, this is something new, and I think you can do it. Most people um, look at me and say, well, how do you remember all of this? And I say, I take my time, and I don't look at it as a challenge. Along with that, um, I'm also teaching the cybersecurity, how to maintain your computer and stay safe. I hope that with all of this information that I've given you, that you can sit down and think about the problems that you might have and some of the courses that I do teach that you can actually come in to one of my classes on Zoom and be able to um, work properly with your computer and I can help you out. There are questions. Don't think that um, the computer is difficult. I can get you at a very good comfort level anytime that you're using your computer. And right now, since we're using Zoom, I think it's a great thing. I'm so happy that others are using the Zoom system and all of this. It's better for you as well as better for everyone else. So I hope to see you in some of my classes and you all have a great day and goodbye. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Joan. And now we have Dr. Daniel Vitaglione, who teaches French philosophy and literature. So, good morning to all. Um, I will speak about the, the Department uh, of Languages, the number of language, uh, languages we teach. We teach Italian, Spanish, Arabic, and French. I am the French, one of the French instructors here. Um, all of the teachers are uh, skilled and experienced, of course. My French class, which is one of the classes I teach here, is uh, intermediate and advanced. Levels are mixed, but generally it works well. We uh, I provide some grammar, some vocab, where we'll talk about the various regions of France, the history, uh, the culture, the music. And we also read, spend maybe 20, 25 minutes reading uh, the Le Petit Prince, which I know you are going to say the Petit Prince, but that's a kid's book. Well, there are two readings. There is one reading for kids, and then there's one philosophical reading uh, I will not tell you what it, what it is, but it's very surprising, but very interesting, I think. Uh, I will just tell you that it was writ written in 1942 during World War II. So maybe I think, uh, hmm, something to do with the war, and you wouldn't be wrong. Okay, so this is what we do in, in the French class uh, on Thursday afternoon at 3 o'clock. We continue second session, same thing. I also teach a class in philosophy in English, this, this class. Philosophy is on Tuesdays at 3 o'clock. And uh, we will talk about French philosophy from the 19th century to the early part of the 20th century, including uh, Auguste Comte, Bergson, Bergson, Bachelard, Sartre, Beauvoir, of course, and Camus in the first session. I will continue the second session of philosophy with British philosophers from Hobbes to Russell, including Hume, Benton, and Stuart Mill, the main ones, of course. What we do when uh, we talk philosophy, when I lecture uh, about philosophy, I do some lecturing, but we discuss the major ideas of the philosophers. So there's discussion in this class. Um, you, can, you are free to ask questions at any time during the lecture. So it's discussion. I will you know, give you some meetings to, to do if you have the time also. Another class I teach, I will teach a class uh, in French cinema in English, uh, both sessions, first session, second session. I will start with the silent films. Very interesting because we will, you will find out that one of the first uh, directors ever in that industry was a woman, at least he. So, surprise, well, no, very talented woman. Uh, so, the first in France. Uh, after the, the silent movies, very interesting movies, I will move on to the uh, current called Poetic Realism, Marcel Carnet, uh, Marcel Pagnol, René Claire, Sacha Guitry, with excellent actors, very interesting movies also. Second session, I will focus on even more maybe uh, creative directors of Jacques Tati, who is inspired by the silent movies, of course. Clouseau, who directed Les Diaboliques, a, a classic. Bresson, of course, Melville and René, who are the um, uh, initiators of the second and um, the Nouvelle Vague of the 60s, 50s, and 60s, which I hope I will uh, teach uh, in, in the spring. So very interesting in English discussion. I will also give you the links of all the movies uh, that you can watch at home. I will show excerpts in class, first excerpt. And I'll give you the movies that you can watch at home and recommend certain movies. My last class is uh, um, British female um, novelists uh, in several uh, sessions. The first session, I will start with the uh, 17th century, just one author. I had to, of course, select the authors. There's plenty of them. Um, then I will talk about Fanny Burney, Anne Radcliffe, Mary Shelley, 
who wrote Frankenstein. Frankenstein is not the monster, it's the person who created the monster. And Jane Austen, of course, the famous novelist Jane Austen. Austen. Second session, I'll talk about the Brontes and the Three Sisters, a phenomenon, just unbelievable phenomenon, Three Sisters and the brother who became writers. I will talk also about George Eliot, the major Victorian uh, novelist and philosopher also. So this is for the fall. Hopefully this class uh, um, British female novelists will continue on uh, 20th century with uh, Virginia Woolf and etc. So uh, this is uh, concerning the classes by myself. I was born and raised in Marseille in France. I first started uh, in Paris at the university and continued in Marseille and then in California and I got my PhD at the University of St. Andrews uh, in comparative literature and English um, and the University of St. Andrews is in Scotland. So that's it. I look forward to meeting you in a few days. Good luck. Thank you very much, Damien. And now we have our distinguished Ali member, Dr. James Gross. Hi, I wanna welcome each of you to the Oshner Lifelong Learning Institute's Open House. Uh, I'm a University of Miami graduate I worked at the National Hurricane Center for 30 years before retiring. I joined Ali in 2012. When I was a graduate student at U of M a very long time ago, I took many life drawing and painting classes. I hadn't picked up a paintbrush in years, so my first course at Ali was acrylic painting. When I saw what other courses were available at Ali, I began taking courses in many wide ranging subjects, including physics, genetics, American and world history, classical music, art appreciation, current events, religion, ethics, I could go on and on. I enjoyed them all. In 2013, I approached our director about some ideas on new courses, which I thought might be of interest to the OLLI membership. The director then asked me to join the curriculum committee. I have served on this committee since then and was its chairperson 2017 to 2019. I am a committed student and volunteer member of OLLI. I love learning new subjects and renewing my interest in old favorites. I find the quality of our instructors is excellent. I am proud to be a member of the curriculum committee, which quality controls our courses and instructors. When last spring the COVID-19 pandemic struck, we immediately began using Zoom to continue and finish our spring two semester. Our entire summer one and two semesters were conducted using Zoom. I personally took two summer courses and I think the instructors did an excellent job with these courses. Our instructors have fully embraced the Zoom concept learning. The entire 2020 fall one and two semesters will be conducted through Zoom. The Oshner Lifelong Learning Institute has become an important part of my life. It keeps my mind active in learning new subjects and renewing my interest in others. It also provides a social function in my life and by, by the social interactions I have with my classmates and the curriculum committee. I have gained many new friends at my, in my life with Ollie membership, and I look forward to meeting you all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jim. And now we have Ms. Elizabeth Newman. Elizabeth? Okay, let me put my video back on. Can you hear me? Yes. Great. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Newman. I want to tell you why I decided to join Ali and what my experience is like. I moved here with my husband five years ago. We didn't know a soul. We just moved here for the weather. And what I found when I discovered Ali is a place where it is fun to keep learning, being exposed to new ideas, learning a new skill, such as a language, uh, computer skills, how to best use your iPhone, how to take photographs with your iPhone, art, music, music history, culture. 
there's no experience necessary to take any of the OLLI classes. And each term is only six weeks long. So you can say, oh, I think I will do something like I've never taken an art class in my entire life, but let me see how I do with the uh, drawing. And if it turns out to be something that you aren't enjoying, you haven't made a long-term commitment. And as a result, Ali lets you try something that may turn out to be a passion in your life. Ali is also fantastic for making friends. Everyone at Ali is around your age. Most people are retired. We all have a bond in terms of being in the place we are in our lives. Many people that you meet will have had interesting careers to talk about or have had, or have had travel that's interesting or just have a different perspective from yours so that you are constantly meeting people and hearing their ideas. Lots of Ali classes are discussion classes where you really can have an interchange of ideas, but even in the lecture classes, there's an opportunity to have people who, while they're talking to one of the instructors, can give you new ideas. And there is there are many opportunities to be just sitting in the lobby chatting with other members. And then the third um, reason why I joined Ali was having the idea of making a contribution and volunteering. And Ali gives you the opportunity to, there are a range of volunteer opportunities from organizing social events to serving on one of the committees to just helping in the front office. And so you have a sense of meaningful sense of being able to give back as well as to take what Ali has to offer. Um, I'd also like to say that the sad part about being on Zoom now is that we can't be together. But I'd also like to say that Ali has done a really fantastic job with Zoom, teaching instructors on how best to use the Zoom platform. And in many cases, it is so much better to know that you have an appointment, say, Art History. So at first I thought, well, maybe I can just do something online on art history, watch a YouTube video. But it's not the same because even on Zoom, even though you're sitting in front of your own computer or iPad, when you know you have an appointment and you see that your colleagues are all, you know, it could be 75 people who have all signed up for the same Zoom meeting and you have a sense of doing it in common with the instructor, even though you're not in the room, it's so much more rewarding than just, you know, looking for things to do watching movies on on Netflix or watching even watching great courses on Netflix or something. So Ali gives you that sense of participation in a group with people who are doing it together. And uh, I really encourage you to join. Give it a try. We'd love to meet you and we know you'll love it. Thank you so very much, Elizabeth. That was wonderful. You can see how excited our instructors and our members are to be a part of the Ali family. Now we'll take some questions from the audience. We have one question um, regarding auditing classes at UM. In the past, uh, we have had um, auditing classes at UM at undergraduate courses are still a benefit at Ali. So you can pay a separate fee and you can also take undergraduate courses. However, given COVID, uh, that, has, that program has been suspended. So it will be suspended at least until the spring term. This is in order to not only ensure the safety of our members, but also to, um, to reduce the number of people who are in the classrooms and keep, maintain the social distancing. But stay tuned, that program will definitely come back. I see another question regarding volunteering opportunities at U at Ali at UM. I believe um, Jim and Elizabeth also alluded to this. There are many opportunities to join the various committees. And if you're interested, all the information is also on our website, 
we have at least six or seven committees that you can be a part of and enjoy the camaraderie that's developed in the committees, as well as participating in contributing to the overall program. Any course on world religions? We do have a number of courses on religion. And again, um, one course that is taught by Cynthia Halpern. Dr. Cynthia Halpern is a distinguished faculty member from Swarthmore College, and she teaches a course on religion. You can find that specifically in the catalog. Another question, if you join at UM, do you get access to all the OLLIs? Unfortunately, each OLLI functions separately since they're associated with individual universities. So you would have to join each OLLI separately. But for the most part, the cost of membership is so low that it's not cost prohibitive. What is the link for our catalog? I will show you the link for the catalog at the end, but also the link is uh, continue.miami.edu forward slash Ali. Continue.miami.edu forward slash Ali. At the current moment, are there any plans to have sessions in the for? just for retired professionals. Our entire program is for anyone over the age of 50. So whether or not you're retired, uh, you can join Ali. There's another question for, this question is specifically for Jeannie. What made you decide to teach at Ali? Put my video on. All right, let me, let me get my video on. Good? Yes. Okay. What made you as someone who is at Ali? Yeah, as someone who's um, a college student for a while, I thought it would be very interesting to teach my own age. Um, and what a great joy that was because uh, especially when you teach writing um, college students have a different level of experiences um, you know we talk about and I often look out and see people holding cell phones or texting <laughs> it's a very different world I come into Ollie and we have our small classes of 14 people and it's a, it's I hear stories about the 20s the 30s the 40s Brooklyn in the 50s, uh, wonderful, wonderful life experiences. And I will say that I have also enjoyed the camaraderie in the classes just as much as the students. And I have made some wonderful friends. Uh, I've been teaching at Ali, I think, three or four years uh, that I still have. And I can't speak enough of that. So uh, Ali means a lot of things to me, seeing my own kind and making new friends, uh, among other things. Thank you so much, Jeannie. Now we have, uh, is this the platform that we will use? Uh, this platform is WebEx, but no, we will be using Zoom. So those are you, of you who are familiar with Zoom and feel more comfortable with Zoom can rest assured that we will all be using Zoom. And yes, you can interact with the faculty members. So all the faculty members and the instructors are live and you can ask questions, et cetera, et cetera. I have another question for Joan. Given your extensive teaching experience, how would you characterize Ali members as students? Oh, great, great question, Magna. Um, within my 20 years of teaching, I found that the members have a wealth of knowledge. Um, and that reciprocates into the classroom. Past and present experience in business, um, whether they've been a teacher, a lawyer, 
um, a doctor, a nurse, or even a housewife. Um, that past experience just goes in and they come in and they have all of this information to give us. And I love it. I think that it's a great experience for all of us to be in that classroom and listen to things that has happened in the past and things that they've learned in the past, like life, life challenges and what they do during the work and so forth. And a great deal of knowledge has been um, provided to the class with that wealth of knowledge. We also have those dedicated learners. And this is something that's very important. I noticed that some of the uh, members, they get to the classroom on time, some of them 15 minutes before. If they miss a class, they're um, calling me or contacting me for the information and they love it. They want to make sure that they don't miss anything. They're eager to learn and accept challenges. And for instance, um, if you're working on a computer and you might have a question or a problem with things, um, they're just willing to listen and participate in the classroom during that time. Um, and what I try to do in the class, I try to um, repeat a lot of the information because we do have some that might have hearing problems or they're not quite sure of what to say. We do have those um, people that might sit in the back of the class. So I always try to focus on the whole class and I call out people that are from the back to the front. And I try to let them know that um, no question is a stupid question that they can um, be clear and understanding of all of the information that I'm giving. I don't speak in technical terms, so um, people can understand exactly what I'm saying. It's straight, it's forward, and um, I give them the opportunity to process that information and take their time with it. I also notice that they're committed. They're committed. They come in, um, they try to do the most experience that they can with Ollie. I noticed that but some of my students that have been with me, members have been with me for the past. Um, I do have a following. Uh, you do have people that will come into my class. Some students have taken my classes two and three times and they wanna keep coming back. Whatever I teach in the um, computer process, they wanna grasp that information. They wanna make sure that they get it all and they're willing to learn. They always asking me about technical problems and I find it so inviting, so interesting. I'm so happy that they have this opportunity at Ali. When I first came to Ali, um, I was only teaching one course and that was the basic computers. So I actually moved up in the world <laughs> with Ali and inviting all of these other courses to come in. And I think each year about how I can improve, how that I can bring in a new um, set of information um, and something that's relatable. Um, it's always, I know now that we're using our phones, we're using our computers. And I think with that being said, um, everyone wants to take a computer course. So I know that um, they're committed when they come in, they work hard. And um, it's my pleasure to teach at Ali. Um, I find it, um, I'm not going back into the corporate America. I find it going into Ali and having the members come in and ask me questions. I feel good that I can answer those questions. And if I can't, I'll let them know, I'll contact you with the answer. So thank you very much, Magna, for giving me the opportunity. And I hope to see some of the students in some of my classes moving forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joan. Joan is our resident expert on the technology classes. Thank you so much. I have a question regarding the Ali. Will Ali Club still exist? And if and how, uh, and if we would like to run one, what do we need to do? So our Ali clubs are not now called the shared interest groups. And if you're interested in running one, please feel free to contact the office, send us an email, and we will be more than happy to discuss your proposal. And the clubs, well, now the shared interest groups do exist. We have six of them, and they include everything from the Ali book club to Yiddish, and to Monday morning quarterback. 
Now I have another question for uh, Daniel. How has your experience been teaching at Ali via Zoom and has it changed the way that you teach your classes? Okay. Uh, has it changed the way? Uh, a little bit, but I have uh, become so used to it and I really enjoy it. Really teaching online, I'll tell you what, because uh, I taught all the students at the same level as opposed to being in different rows. Some people in classroom are sitting way in the back and this on the screen, everybody is at the same level. They can see each other. They can ask me questions. I can mute them if they make uh, too much noise. I mean, this technology works for me great. It's been great working on, uh, on Zoom. I can hear very well. I can even uh, increase the sound if I want to. They can do the same. Of course, I teach a class that lasts like all classes an hour and 45 minutes. Online, it allows you to get up and go and do something for a half a minute and come back, which is uh, for the students, of course, not for me, but that's okay. <laughs> I am sitting usually uh, at first, I always teach and I teach in person standing because I move. All right. So I, I, at first I thought, oh my God, you know, I'm not going to be able to move. No, sitting is good. I can face it. I have to develop other talents, of course. Uh, but I enjoy it very much. I enjoy, of course, uh, uh, teaching in person. But I have adapted um, to online teaching through Zoom very well. It has always been working great. And well, let's say uh, it offers others other possibilities, and uh, you know that they did not suspect. Uh, uh, teaching all has been a wonderful experience in general, uh, definitely. Um, and I will hope to continue because the students are so interesting, so knowledgeable. And if I, you know, considering my own age here, if I mention something and they know what I'm talking about, it's not the same with the younger students, of course. I have to explain that, you know, about the past, even the, what I consider a recent past, which is like, you know, the 60s for them is like way back in the past. So, uh, and, Ali, great, great experience. Thank you so much, Daniel. And thank you so much for that perspective from the instructor. And now we have a question for Jim, which provides us with the perspective from the students. So Jim, what are the best aspects of being an Ali member and how has taking classes via Zoom changed your Ali experience, if at all? Uh, well, thank you for the question. Um, with my science background, I'm always interested in uh, keeping my mind active. Ollie provides me with the opportunities for more learning about many new subjects as well as old. And I've gained many new friends through my Ollie membership. Um, for me, the educational and social interaction is like beginning and enjoying my college experience all over again with no homework. So it's really enjoyable. <laughs> uh, Zoom has definitely changed my in-person social interactions with my classmates, but the educational experience I find is essentially unchanged. All my instructors are able to give their lectures, PowerPoint presentations and YouTube videos as though they were in the classroom with me. Uh, as you as a student, as you as a student are able to listen and view the material as though you are in the classroom. Uh, also, you're able to interact with the instruction with any questions you might have either verbally or through the chat feature. So I think uh, the while the social energy actions are possible at this time with the pandemic, uh, we are getting a, a good instruction through Zoom and our instructors and the members of the class in Zoom. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jim. And now we have another question from someone asking uh, about the Shakespeare reading group and what they will be reading. 
So specifically, we have a Shakespeare reading group, and they will be reading All's Well That Ends Well and Coriolanus during fall session one. Um, we currently do not have a Hebrew class, uh, but if you'd like to teach one, please feel free to contact us and we will work with you. And someone commented, this isn't a question, but a comment. I'd just like to comment that I really enjoy the Zoom classes and I don't have to worry about parking or traffic. <laughs> That's a wonderful thing as well. Um, so now, uh, thank you very much. I think that's the last of our questions. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for and to the panelists for their for your questions and to the panelists for your responses. Um, now I will discuss a little bit about our membership. So I hope that our presentation has provided you with a clear idea of our program and the benefits of membership. You can become an OLLI member today. If you sign up today through Friday, you can receive a $5 discount off the annual membership price of $45. The membership is valid for one year from August 1st through July 31st of next year. To become an OLLI member, you can call us at the numbers on your screen, 305-284-6554 or 305-284-6720. We will, these numbers were on your invitation, and we will also follow up with another email invitation, email with these numbers as well. For registration for the courses, they open today as well. You can find our catalog online. Someone had asked me that question previously, so you can visit our website, continue.miami.edu forward slash Ali. The classes begin on Monday, August 31st, all at a very, very low cost. But again, feel free to contact us if you have any questions or comments. You can email us or call us. And please answer the survey that you will receive following this presentation. We'd love to get your feedback. We hope that you have enjoyed this presentation. And thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you at Ali.